In this video, we will show you how to install door rails, door vertical braces, and door rail stabilizers on your polytunnel, which are used to support your door frame and doors. We will start by fitting the door rail, then the door rail vertical braces, and the door rail stabilizers. Here are the parts you'll need. The door rail spans across the width of your polytunnel on the end hoops. Door rails are supplied in three pieces. Two are 2.59 meters long and are flattened at one end and swayed on the other. The third piece is 2.48 meters long and is plain at both ends. Connect the tubes together by locating the swaged ends in the plain ends. Secure the three pieces together with self-drilling screws, four centimeters from the joint, ensuring that both flattened ends are in line. First, fit a Q-clip to the hoop above the corner stabilizer. Locate one end of the door rail to the Q-clip. Push a bolt through the hole, ensuring the thread is on the inside of the polytunnel and loosely secure in place. Position another Q-clip on the other side of the hoop. Locate the flat end of the door rail to the Q-clip and push a bolt through the hole and loosely secure in place. We need to ensure that the door rail is level. Place a spirit level on the door rail and adjust accordingly. Tighten the bolts on the Q-clip on both sides. Now we will fit the door rail vertical braces. Door rail vertical braces span from the door rail to the end hoop. There are two door rail vertical braces per end. Door rail vertical braces are 1.4 meters long and are flat at both ends. From the ridge clamp, measure 40 centimeters along the hoop and fit a Q-clip. Locate the flat end of the vertical brace to the Q-clip, push a bolt through the hole and firmly tighten. Repeat on the opposite side. Now, fit a Q-clip to the door rail. Locate the flat end of the vertical brace to this Q-clip. Push a bolt through the hole and loosely secure in place. You may need to lift the door rail up to do this. Repeat this on the other side. Ensure that the door rail vertical braces are not pushing the door rail down nor pulling it up. Once you are happy with the level, tighten both Q-clips. We will fit the door rail stabilizers. Door rail stabilizers span from the door rail to the first intermediate hoop. There are two door rail stabilizers per end. They are supplied in two pieces. One is 1.78 meters long and is flat at one end and plain at the other end. The second is 45 centimeters long, flat at one end and swayed at the opposite end. From the end of the door rail, measure 1.83 meters in and make a mark. Fit a Q-clip at this point. They are positioned so that they don't interfere with the door post timbers. Now fit a Q-clip onto the first intermediate hoop, approximately two meters from the ridge clamp. Locate the flat end of the 1.78 meter piece to the Q-clip on the intermediate hoop. Push a bolt through the hole and loosely secure in place. Slide the swaged end of the 45 centimeter piece into the plain end of the 1.78 meter piece. We will secure this tube to the door rail first. Loosely secure the flat end to the Q-clip on the door rail, whilst ensuring these two pieces do not separate. Adjust the Q-clip on the intermediate hoop. Secure the two pieces together with a self-drilling screw, four centimeters from the joint. Repeat for the door rail stabilizer on the opposite side. Ensure the Q-clips on the door rail are on the 1.83 meter mark and firmly tighten. Then adjust the Q-clips on the intermediate hoop so that the door rail doesn't bow in or out of the polytunnel. When you are happy with the position, firmly tighten the nuts. You can now repeat this process on the opposite end of the polytunnel. You can find more videos to help you build your polytunnel and construct.firsttunnels.co.uk. We also have a construction helpline if you require any further assistance.